Hello, my dear students. Today we will study about the root stem transition. Now, stem possesses collateral vascular bundle, and the root possesses radial vascular bundle. In stem, the vascular bundle is of endarch type, and in uh, roots, the vascular bundle with exarch xylem. Now, this is radial vascular bundle found in roots. This is conjoint vascular bundle found in stem. Radial vascular bundle mean phloem and xylem are found alternately and in this stem the phloem and xylem are found on the same radii. You will say here is a plant, this is a root, this is a stem. So there should be the point where root stem transition takes place. To understand this, we will first see the seed. The seed forms the plumule, plumule and radicle. Plumule forms the stem portion and the radicle form the roots. There is a hypocotyl region where the root stem transition zone is found, where the exarch xylem changes into the endarch xylem. There are some points. To be understand the root and the stem make a continuous structure called the axis of the plant the vascular bundles are continuous from the root to the stem we know that the vascular bundles are continuous to, from the root to the stem if there is root and there is a stem so vascular bundle are continuous but the position of xylem exact to and dark is changing and also we know that the arrangement of vascular bundle in stem and roots are different now this point to be understand the change of position involving inversion and twisting of xylem strength from exact to end type is referred to as vascular transition and the part of the axis where these changes occur is called transition reason so hypocotyl reason is transition reason or transition root stem transition zone now root stem transition is of different type first type is type a second is type b and third one is type c and type d first of all we will understand the type a in type a this is example of fumaria in this each xylem strand of the root divides by radial division in the branches in the branches and these branches go upward and they swing in the upward direction in the upward direction they swing one branch bends towards the left and other towards the right we can see these branches are swinging and uh, now uh, these are splitted now and these branches will join at the upper portion you can see here uh, the, uh, these xylem uh, strands join the phloem now you can see that there uh, are in this type of vascular bundle there are four phloem strand and there are four xylem strand and in the stem also we can see four xylem strand and four phloem strand and also to understand that the phloem do not change their position they remains the same that's that point to be understand very easily that uh, the phloem doesn't change their position now again we see the type a see here is xylem here is phloem here is here is xylem here is phloem and this xylem this first of all this xylem swings and uh, split it into branches you can see these branches swings literally and after that it joins the phloem strands and in this way the xylem and phloem are attached with each other and this type of vascular bundle we can see is conjoined type of vascular bundle so from root to stem the root stem transition takes place in type a this is example of fumaria this is found in fumaria <clears throat> now type b in type b 
this is uh, a type example it uh, cucurbita you can see in cucurbita it is in fasciolus as well as etc the xylem and phloem strands <coughs> fog the branches here are the strands of the xylem and phloem both divide both divide you can see <coughs> this phloem is dividing and this xylem is dividing also and uh, the phloem goes laterally and afterwards uh, it joins these lateral branches of phloem in the xylem xylem and phloem both joins each other and uh, this is a type b and after that you can see this is conjoined vascular bundle and this this is radial vascular bundle so from radial to conjoined vascular bundle you can see different aspects first this is phloem this is xylem again we see phloem is dividing and it will go like this and uh, this is xylem and uh, xylem is dividing into uh, fox uh, you can see this is uh, uh, this is a xylem and uh, this is phloem and this phloem uh, will join to xylem and you will also see that there are two phloem strands and there are four phloem strands and four xylem strands this is found in cucurbita example is cucurbita next this is type c in type c this is found in lathyrus example the xylem strands are starting at a starting in their position and somewhat twisted you can see somewhat twisted whereas phloem is strand divide first and four phloem strands can be seen four phloem strands can be seen this 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 one this one and xylem will join these uh, phloem and afterwards you will see that there is only a single phloem and single xylem from this this is also single this is also single this is also single this is also single it means no change in phloem strands or no change in xylem strands but they are changing from radial to collateral or conjoined vascular bundle now come to the type d in type d it is rarely seen you can see in this type half of the xylem strands fork it means branches of the xylem strand swing in their lateral direction and uh, uh, you can see that uh, here phloem is also uh, dividing you can see phloem is also dividing it is not uh, dividing but it is uh, joining you can see that these two phloem join with each other and in this way uh, the xylem joins with this phloem and three strands are joined with one phloem strand again we see that again we see that there is a, uh, you can see here xylem and there is phloem and uh, this is radial type of vascular bundle you can see that uh, this uh, phloem is not dividing but it is joining each other and uh, this uh, the half of the xylem fox and it swings and afterwards it joins with this phloem strand and you can see there are one two three four phloem strands and there is one two three four xylem strand and here we see only two phloem strands and two xylem strand this is uh, found in few monocotyledons so these are type of type a type b type c and type d so these are type of stem root stem transitions which are found in plants thank you students Come on.